four by six band saw. Y'all see them cuts right yander? I uh, cut them uh, just now. I needed to make an engine cart, so I decided to make more than one. So as you can see, these little El Cheapo band saws, they will get the job done. We're going to go over on the workbench and I'll show you something else. The cross tie straps, I would refer to them on this cart, is two inches wide, quarter inch thick, hot rolled, just regular old plate steel. And the way the, the, way the setup is, I have the table locked in all positions. I have the vise trued up to the table. I've done some measuring, uh, very minimal. All I do is put the piece of metal in the vise, put the straight edge across this way. I just use a, a thumbnail, and when those two are even, then you know if you repeat that, then that hole will always be in the same position no matter how many pieces of these that you drill. So with that said, I do have a little cutting hole there. It's a half inch hole I am drilling. It's, it's a loose fit for the bolt. I needed some, uh, I needed some alignment variations in the mating hole. So I did decide to put uh, uh, a half inch hole here. Now, in order to repeat that same hole positioning, time after time, just loosen the jaw, reposition the metal, line it up with your finger, I do have two riser blocks in the uh, jaws of the chuck here to uh, to hold the piece of metal proud. But as you can see, it's uh, it's it's even up right there. So this hole will will be the same. It, it will be time after time. When everything is locked into position, this point right here on this vise always remains the same. So the hole will always be at the same position in relationship to this point here. With that said, we will, uh, we're going to drill that hole. We'll, uh, we'll drill one. It's quarter by four. Uh, while you're over there at the steel yard, it comes in a 20 foot length. While you're over there, get the dude to cut it in half, just a torch cut. Quarter by four, flat plate. Now you see this year, El Chico blade, $9.99. That seems to make short work out of that. Hot roll steel. Uh, nothing new, but I may bring it to your attention. When you're cutting a short piece of metal, but all always put a put a put a equal width spacer in the in the other end of the vice jaw. In order to drill a hole in a piece of metal in the same position as several different pieces, I got these riser blocks in the vise. The piece of metal is quarter by four. The alignment is that the, the, the fixed jaw, if that is a true dimension with the straight edge, you lock, lock the vise jaw down. 
it's this is solid now will not move the way to to I, I need to drill the holes three quarters of an inch from the end of the piece of metal and just using a finger the there is no those are even just leave that as is I have the laser center finder in the drill chuck. You see the little little beam of light there? The way to set that is, you see that little beam of light run up and down that scale? And I need it to be at three quarters of an inch. And what you do is you bring that little beam of light where it is exactly in line with the mark. That being that being it right there. Camera angle may not line it up, but in reality, that's dead center on the line. At that point, you would lock the table. Uh, we need to from this edge right here to the beam of light also needs to be three quarters of an inch. So if you line that ruler up with the edge of the metal, which it is lined up, then you can move you can move the the table this way. And you just repeat the procedure. You come right down there to where that beam of light is exactly in the center of the three-quarter inch mark on the scale and lock the table down. The table won't move in any position. At this point, the center, this will be three-quarters of an inch from this edge and it'll be three-quarters of an inch from that edge. As long as this piece of metal is lined up with that fixed jaw right there, then you can drill that position time and time again. With this setup, in order to repeat that hole in all four corners, you just take it out, turn it over, align this position right here, that edge right down here. You align that with the with the chuck vise, lock it down, and you're ready to drill the hole. Now we just getting her done here on the east coast of Arkansas.